Hello, my name is Jordi. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to edit your clips the correct way, like professional video editors do. This way you are able to edit fast and accurate. Let's start by importing some clips. Open one clip into your source monitor. With the buttons below the source monitor, you can play your video, move one frame, etc. Press the plus icon on the right to customize your buttons. But since we're working in a professional environment, we'll be using short keys. One of the most standard short keys to play your video are the J, K and L keys. The J key reverses your clip. Press it a couple of times to speed it up. The K key is for pausing your selected clip. And the L key is to play your clip. If you press the L key multiple times, it will fast forward the clip. These key settings are the most standard for video playback. Whether you use Premiere, Final Cut or Avid, the JKL keys will do the same. Now let's start editing. When we move a clip to the timeline, we want to make sure that we only use the correct piece of that clip. So we cut out the stuff before the action happens and the stuff after the action. We don't want to hear the director saying action or cut. We can select this piece by setting an in and an out point onto our clip. We do this by scrubbing to the beginning of an action. Set an in point with this button or use a short key I. Then go to the end of the action and set an out point or use the O key. The blue is the selection of the time that we'll use in that clip. Now drag it to your timeline or use a short key comma. You can also drag the clip by using this video icon. This will only import the video track of that clip. If you want only to import the audio track of that clip, you can select the waveform icon and drag it to your timeline. But for now, we'll just take the whole video. Within our timeline, we can now use the JKL keys again to watch the video we've inserted. As you can see, Premiere only inserted the selection between the in and the out points. Let's add some more clips to the timeline. Now let me show you the difference there are for adding a clip to the timeline. I've just set an in and an out point from my last clip and I would like to insert it in the middle of my timeline. To do that, I place my ruler in the spot where I want to insert my clip. I've got two possibilities now and you can see that on these buttons. I can choose to insert a clip and that will move the other clips to make room for my new clip. Beware if you do this, this could get your editing out of sync. If you only have one track, like in this example, it's no problem. The second way is to override the clip. This will place the clip on your timeline and overrides everything that comes in its path. We do this with the short key dot comma. Now let me undo the action with Ctrl or Command C. And now I'll press comma to insert the clip. Watch what happens.